And so area of a sector, bless you, also uh, has two different forms based on whether it's measured in degrees or if it's measured in radians. And it's based on the same conversion. <clears throat> Right, so for the area of a sector, so you're looking at this whole measure here. You're still looking at this uh, M value, this radius. You can also, this measure is either M or theta. Again, it depends on uh, whether it's measured in radians or degrees that you'll use kind of M or theta. They're interchangeable though. The area formula for a sector in terms of degrees is some fraction M over 360 of the areas of the area of that circle so pi r squared. So this is the equation for the area of a sector when measured in degrees when measured in radians the area of a sector based on again that same kind of conversion is going to be uh, theta times or one half r squared theta or you can think of it as theta over two times r squared right. and so this is the calculation based on uh, radian measures Okay, so just take a second or two and see if you can find the following. Okay, if you're given the same measures that we saw before, so if the radius was 9 and the angle measure was 50, and then also if the radius is 10 and the angle measure is 2 pi over 3. Okay, so if this is the case, your area formula, m over 360 times pi r squared, where m is 50 times pi, the radius was 9 squared. So again, the factors of 10 cancel. Uh, 9 squared is 81. And if you look to remove any common factors here, 9 goes into 81 9 times, 9 goes into 36 4 times. So you get 5 times 9, which is 45 times pi, all over 4. And so this would be your area of the sector based on this calculation, m over 360 times pi r squared. And if you were using the formula for uh, an angle measured in radians, it would be 1 half the radius squared times the number of radians. So if the radius was 10, times 2 pi over 3. Okay. 10 squared is 100. 2's cancel. And so you're winding up with 100 pi divided by 3 as your overall area for that particular sector. Okay. So again, it all depends on uh, what measurement your angle is in. Is it degrees or is it radians? Okay. Alright. So you will see some questions like that on your uh, homework for 13.2, just a heads up. And do remember, if you are entering uh, pi in your answer, so this would be 100 pi, open and close parentheses, divided by 3. This would be 45 pi, open and close parentheses, divided by 4. And so that's how you'll express the, the values that contain pi on your um, problems.